Otakuans, we are back with part two. We never went anywhere, but this is part two. <laughs> so, part dose of our wrap up for spring anime 2023. Uh, we just got into some heavy hitters, some bangers. Uh, we're going to wrap up some of the final season or final shows that we watched uh, during that season. We're going to start off with one that David's going to, you're going to have to take this one away. You're going to have to take it away because this. This man, he got a phone. He's in another world. He's bro. It's man. hard. Like after bro. after last yeah. episode, coming back with in another world with a smartphone. I'm gonna no, do no, my no. best. You, I'm gonna do my best. How you can follow up with Hell's uh, Paradise? I'm, I know. I'm gonna do my best. Um. All right. Okay. It's another Sekai. Good news. It's another Sekai. Mm-hmm. We got another Kurito looking motherfucker who's a, a Sekai <laughs> into another world. We love those type of things. He has a harem. We love harems. They're Gundams. You love Gundams. Love Gundam. <laughs> they're they're different love territories that need to be taken over. Who doesn't love taking over territories? Who doesn't love when the main character becomes a, basically a king of his own territory, of his own land, over his own people? Who doesn't love every single Esekai troop that was ever created? All in one episode. Well, if you're that type of person, I guarantee you, in another world with a smartphone, season two, shit, the whole series in general is the one for you. <laughs> We'd Bro. like to thank our sponsor uh, in a smart. <laughs> in <another laughs> That's world a guy. Another you know, the show was decent. I'm not um, like I, I. Yes, it was full of. It was very tropey. Everything you expect to happen pl- played out the way it um, you expected it to happen. But at the end of the day, it was something. If you like those type of cutesy Esekai animes, if you like shows where half of it is going to be a slice of life, but every once in a while they're going to say, hey, OP main character, do some OP main character shit. And he does some weird ass shit, but it ends up defeating the demon lord or defeating the monster that's terrorizing the town. This this is that show. Honestly, it was a it was a meh show. It kind of rode the line of shows. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. I need to watch the next yeah. episode. When I turned this on, it was like, all right, I'm about to start watching my shows. Let me turn this one on first so that it, I'm not disappointed after watching everything else. It yeah. was that show. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, I'm glad that that show, uh, his smartphone, allowed him to defeat the Demon Lord. I think that sets a very bad precedence for the youth. Um, and I don't appreciate it. So I think you need to get out there and uh, wow. the you smartphone know. thing is whole, which is so fucking. Broken. <laughs> I got Google on my smartphone. I got maps on my smartphone. <laughs> I can I can look up at anything and everything on my smart. It's, it was it was broken. <sighs> uh, whatever. Um, so Man. the next one, I don't I don't even want to I don't even want to talk too much about this show. So this is summoned to a world for a second time. Mm. Uh, the br- a brief a brief I mean a, and I mean brief synopsis of this show is this young man and his class are isekai'd into the world of monsters knights magic shit like that. Mm-hmm. We soon find out in the very first episode that he had been isekai'd there before, but now he's come back. Uh, and essentially, this you know before he was in the world, he saved the world with his best friend, so on and so forth. Now he's back. He finally links he links up with his old crew. That was still stuck behind, you know, that was still there. Uh, and to pretty much defeat the person who is running the the demon army or the monster army. or yeah. I think they're like the knights, the demon in, infested knights or whatever they are. Um, this show is absolute trash. It's it's fucking garbage. Yeah. I don't I don't like it. Yeah, I don't r- like r- it. the scenes, bro. It's 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 it's, it's, it's r- not the scenes. The Come premise on. of this show is cringy in the beginning. It mm. starts out cringy. cringy. Um, it gives you it, it gives you plot points and it, it it makes it look like there's going to be twists or yeah. plot twists and then it doesn't give you those. Um, the ending, as I'm uh, I'm sure you know, you finished the ending. I couldn't finish the show, but from what <laughs> I heard, it was absolute mid. Mm-hmm. It was fucking ass. I mean, it was just like the end of it. You're just like, okay, cool. That's that's awesome. Like, good good for you, guy. You know, he talk yeah. tries to talk no jutsu people. Um, this is isekai. We don't do that here, blood. <laughs> we don't you know do that here. We don't like, do that here. No, 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 not in my isekai <laughs> house. Like, we don't we don't talk no jutsu in isekai. That's yeah. not, we fight. We fight and we kill motherfuckers. That's what we do. Um, YouTube, I'm talking about the show. Not, not in <laughs> um, But it, it's just a, it's just a very basic show. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's just, 
it's so cringy and it the the storyline is just like it tries to be tropey but in a bad way it yeah. cringes out on the trope and it's not like other shows where it can do the trope like you're in another world with a smartphone it's like a funny trope like they're troping on purpose mm -hmm. like they're troping on purpose like they're being the trope that people make fun of yeah and it's and it's just super crazy it wasn't yeah, even done in a funny way that's the that's the problem yeah it that's and that's all i got to say about this show this show <sighs> is not good honestly i'm just mad i'm mad at the people who who basically put out the promotion for this show i'm i'm, I'm talking to you because you made me look forward to this. You created this 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 series. You put this awesome name with this awesome premise and you said, "Hey, look forward to this." And I did. I looked forward to this and I watched it. And he smacked the girl in her ass and she said, "Oh, it's you." It's you. I lost all composure and I said, "I I can't continue this, but I did. I continued it. We we talked about it during our um our hotter drop and I said, "Hey, is slightly getting better, and I can't continue to move forward. And it, it, it didn't get better. It didn't get better. Yeah, but it, then, no. then we talked about it again. And I said, um, when we were talking about the turnaround point, when we had the turnaround yeah. point video, and I said, hey, it did something that made me feel that they're taking this into a good direction, and but it started didn't. to play out. And then it just fell on his ass again. Like all yeah. the fights. Well, first off, the problem was the main character didn't, even though he was so powerful and nobody could defeat him and everyone loved to watch him fight, he didn't fight. That was kind of weird. It's like, okay, so when, how, how do people know that you're so great at fighting? But he, he, he rather build peace through negotiations, which isn't a terrible too. thing, but we yeah. want to see fighting. But yeah. we get to the end where we finally get to see the main character fight. And he kind of is like, all right. He hit us with a, a Naruto, like, hey, you don't have to be bad anymore. Join us. I'm just like you. You didn't have a father? I don't have a Bro, father. Bro, <laughs> he connected with the the enemy. Like, they had a relationship before, but essentially he convinced them, stop being bad. Yeah. Like, and they let him do him. They let him go. Him, put him in the Phantom Zone. Kill him. Please. This, like, show, this is Isekai. It was a disappointment. We that's that's, that's all I can say for the show. It's a disappointment. I, I don't want to say the show was some fiery hot trash, but it wasn't a good show. Yeah. Luckily, the next show we got on the docket is actually a pretty good show. Pretty good show. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's it's nothing. It's nothing super um, fantastic. I would say it kind of took a little turn during it. But we got Dead Mount Death Play. Mm -hmm. uh, so Dead Mount Death Play uh, to give a you know short synopsis on it. It's about you, you start off with a hero and kind of like a demon king or like the like the immortal demon god or whatever it is. And they end up getting into a fight and the demon god is losing and his one and only trick is to do a reincarnation spell on himself. And he ends up reincarnating into the world of Japan into a young man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, luckily and unluckily at the same time, this young man in Japan is actually killed at the same time that he is reincarnated into his body, which allows his soul to stick around. Um, so he doesn't technically die. Um, and this show is about a, this man or the, de the demon Lord who right there, he goes into the young man's body in Japan and he still has his powers over there in Japan. And he ends up joining a group of, I guess you call them assassins, investigators. They kind of do like, they kind of like a, a master of, or a jack of all trades. They do investigations, they do assassinations, they do, you know, whatever. And then you got the psycho girl, <laughs> the, the psycho chick. Um, but essentially what he ends up doing is he ends up getting with this group. They do assassinations, they do hits, they do, you know, things like that. And his, his kind of thing is that he can see the spirits or the ghosts of the people around him mm -hmm. that they've either killed or that, you know, he, I guess, uh, for, for example, for one scene, they're trying to do, um, they're, they're doing like a deal with somebody and he saw the ghosts of the little kids that, that, that man, like the man they were talking to had killed. And yeah. so he ended up putting, you know, he ended up killing him because of, because he killed all the little kids and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I, this show is pretty good. Now I feel that, the action and the fighting and everything is pretty good. The power, I like the power scaling. Um, it kind of took a little turn where it started kind of turning into a slice of life, kind of. Mm. Um, there was some still good, like, assassinations and, like, you know, some good, like, fighting scenes and some craziness and stuff like that. But it really just turned into this kid who didn't really want to, you know, 
do much. Like he helped, he helped out. Yeah. Um, but he didn't really want to do a whole lot. Um, and then we end up finding out he has a he had a whole family, like a rich family. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and they end up the poker kit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They end up he end up having a rich family, and they try to bring him back, and he try to pretend like he was their son again, and. Um, it, it kind of took a little bit of a slice of life turn. Yeah. Um, it, it wasn't bad though. I think this show is genuinely, if you kind of like the whole investigation, assassination, kill squad kind of thing, with a little bit of like, you know, this man is like super strong. And I'll say, and I'll and I'll give this show one thing. Like, he's not necessarily like OP. I like one of the episodes where they end up, he ends up running into another person that's in that world who's almost as strong as he is and can evade his attacks. Even though nobody in that world has ever seen anything or any attacks that he has ever done before with the whole skeleton and, you know, putting the ghosts on people. But he ran into somebody who can run the ones with him. Yeah. Um, so I think that was pretty good. And, and for us to not have the basic trope where he's just in this world and he's like super, super OP, OP and yeah. nobody can touch him. Uh, he ran into somebody who can. Um, so I, I think the show was pretty decent. I mean, it wasn't bad. I wouldn't say it was like the absolute best. I was expecting a tiny bit more out of it, uh, but it was it, it was pretty it was pretty decent. It was pretty good. I hear you. Um, did you finish it? I'm one episode away. One episode. I was, I was trying to I was trying to binge it before we came out. <laughs> no, just... no, no. I hear you. Um, so this show is actually fairly decent. I was I would say yeah. it's I would give it about an eight. I'll okay. give it an eight. Seven point five eight. Um, so you, you, um, as you were saying, he was the corpse God, um, corpse in one God, world, yeah. he then reincarnated into another world. He jumped into this little boy's body, yada, yada, such and such. It started, it started mad aggressively. It we, did. we started with the, the boss fight and then the reincarnation and then to a, like a, a side boss fight, um, again. And then we start seeing him flex his stuff, but then he like makes, he makes a decision that he doesn't want to be exposed. He doesn't want to use his magic so recklessly because he ha he's finite. He's not infinite. He's finite, and he has to um, charge his magic through, like, I think he was, like, saying jewels, diamonds, or something. And they were telling mm -hmm. him, like, yo, that shit's expensive in this world. You can't just go find that shit lying around. So he decide decides at one point where oh I'm I want to I want to be more low um low pace I want to live a more simpler life I don't want to use my skeletons and things like that and I found let's first start from that point I love the show because it does have character development they develop mm -hmm. um the corpse god himself um we get to see a lot of his backstory leading up to well, the final episode. Yeah. I love that for him. They um, developed the side characters as well, like the crazy girl. She actually, she's she's actually her own person. She's just not the the weird psycho girl who's in the group. Like she has, she's actually a pretty intelligent person. I actually do love her. The one part where she was like, um, she was standing on the roof and she was like, you know, I've killed so many people in my life and I haven't found anybody. Like I'm not excited anymore. And she's like. I wonder if I could get excited if I killed myself. And then she jumps off the roof, and then her phone rings, and she grabs the railing. She's like, hello? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when she like, saves herself all of a sudden. Yeah, she, she's like, crazy. Bro. She's crazy. I was like, bro, what? Like, but she's actually a fairly um, emotionally um, deep person. Yeah. Like, she, well, there's one instance yeah. where she runs into, like, the cousin of the... She, um, spoiler, she's the one who initially killed the kid that the corpse yeah. god um, reincarnated to. Well, she meets the cousin um, of the kid and she's she's remorseful and she basically like tells her and she wants the cousin to like be mad at her, cuss her out and, she, and she's like, no, that's, I'm not going to do that. You just want to vent and be to be there for you and like she like opens up to it like this show is actually yeah. deep in ways that you were not expecting yeah. all that to say I mean, it's fairly deep in ways that you don't expect yeah. and but i do not like as you were saying the whole turning point it went from super action -y to super low pace but then yeah. the final episode did make up for it. like the final episode was like super um high pace again and it allowed him to flex his skills again so I overall think Eight. I'm gonna give it eight. No, I think seven, one of my eight. yeah, one of my best, one of my favorite moments of the show, I would say, is definitely finding out when we're talking about character development and deep meaning, is finding out that this corpse god spoiler is not wasn't a bad person, like mm -hmm. wasn't a bad guy. The demon lord wasn't a bad guy. He just looked evil, and so people assumed he was evil. Mm -hmm. And all he would ever try to do is play with the kids. He would try to like kick the ball with them. He try to like he try to you know 
play with people or have friends or yeah. he would try to do all that stuff. But he then used to be a mage for the like the yeah. royal palace um, at yeah. one point. And then the hero, ca- the hero party came by, immediately dubbed him as the demon lord or the or the the killer. He's like this evil being, and he's like, I'm not an evil being. Like I'm just living my life. Like I'm in. I live in a cave because I look like a fucking skeleton. Like I don't know what you want me to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not a bad guy. Mm. Um, and I, and and which really weird. I love the shows that actually play off of what reality would be. Like the heroes party, them being dickheads. Like yeah. That, mm-hmm. In reality, that's what would that's what would happen. Like the heroes party, they're not always the good guys. Like they're they're these self righteous fucking assholes, um, and they just dubbed him evil. And so he was like, "If you want me to play this role, I'm not just going to let you kill me. Like I'm not exactly. going to let you." So he's like, "So I'm going to use my power." And of course, his power is like corpse power, and yeah, like it's, it looks it looks evil. So of course, when we see the big fight in the beginning, we're like, "Oh, they're." this brave hero party's fighting this demon king, this demon lord who's like a murderer and like is evil. And then we find out the dude's like, I've never been evil. I've exactly. never, not once have I ever been evil. I just look evil. Remember like, that synopsis actually caught our attention. We didn't know who was going to be the one yeah. who reincarnated. And then when we found out who reincarnated, it was like, this shit's pretty tight. I want to see where this, this actually goes. I like what they did with that. I like, I like that whole, and it, and it reminds me of, it reminds me of Misfit Demon King. It reminds me of The Devil is a Part-Timer where the Demon Kings or the Demon Lords, they're not, like, bad people. Mm. Now, do they let their armies kind of run wild, like De- Misfit Demon King and, like, the um, Demon or part-time, Part-Timer? Like, do they kind of, did they let their armies run wild I mean, and, like, yeah, kill people? Like, yeah, that. but at the end of the day, like, they weren't just all about slaughtering innocents. And, you know, mm. like, they were never really bad. That They just played the roles that they were given. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I really appreciated that moment where we found out that he's not, he was never a bad person. Um, so I, again, like you said, a, a eight is definitely fair for this show because, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's really, I think it's fantastic. So, <laughs> um, now the next one we got, now this one, this one's pretty good. This one's, I like this show. It's fucking hilarious. We got to talk about amazing. it. We got to talk yeah, about it. Yeah. We're going to talk about it. So this one is uh Kamikatsu working for a God in a godless world. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, I mean, so it starts out by this, and you see it right here, right? This, this dude, this this young man, is is the son of a priest of their own, I guess their own religion. They follow they follow a certain religion, um, and he's the the son of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and essentially, his dad, what his dad does is he throws him into a the ocean in a barrel, trapped in a barrel, and he said. Son, all you have to do is call out to the God, call out to to the God, and the God will save you. <laughs> and he throws him right in the ocean, and the motherfucker dies. He dies. <laughs> like, he like, what the fuck died. you thought was going to happen? He, like, we were going to survive dies. this? But what's funny is that he essentially gets reincarnated into this other world. Yeah. And he finds out that this world does not have gods. They don't know the concept of gods. They have no idea what a god is. Um, and he ends up going to this village, living in this village, and um, he me- makes some friends and stuff like that. And kind of getting to the point where I think is really funny about the beginning of the show is at some point something really, really bad is happening and to his friends and about to happen to him. And his last ditch effort, he actually does what his father told him to do with all his heart. He calls for the god. The God that is independent, he calls the God and says, if you are real, please come and save me. Hmm. And the God fucking shows up and she's like, I've been waiting for you to do this the <laughs> whole time. Hmm. And at that point, I'm like, so if he would have done that in the beginning, he'd have been fine. Maybe. Like, he'd have, he'd have been fine. Yeah. Um, she's like, because I've been watching you since the day you were born hmm. and I've been waiting for you. Um, so now, and, and to kind of not to give too much away on the show, but essentially he finds out that the kingdom, they're, they're trying to, this kingdom is very corrupt. They're killing people. They're killing people, low class citizens. They have it like, what is it, like a daily killing or a monthly or something like that? Yeah, like, um, yeah, it happens. It's like, cool, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like a monthly culling where they call the citizens and you have to voluntarily kill yourself to, to call the population. Mm. Um, but his God comes in, but because his God works off of followers, and the god was super strong before, he essentially, very ironically, has to start a religion, even though he hated religion Mm -hmm. before, and his father made him do it, he has to now start a religion and get followers for his new god, or for the god, so she can become powerful, um, and pretty much he can, you know, they can defeat this kingdom. 
this show this show is absolutely hilarious i mean it's super funny it gives that nice like it gives a good it gives like a good balance of slice of life and action especially with the the uh like immortal kind of like robot cyberpunk things that the kingdom has um those things are really dope. i forgot what they're called but um i i mean it, it's it's hilarious and it has that those that that isekai trope where he has the knowledge from the other world and he makes his god create shit like i think one episode they show them tilling the ground with hose and i'm talking about the garden tool mm-hmm. they're tilling the ground with the garden <laughs> tool. hose is out there too and then there's some hoses out there too. And then the literally the next scene is them on fucking John Deere tractors, fucking <laughs> in this world where that's never been a thing. He mm. gives them electricity, one running water, um, you know, like he makes this village like the 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 who's who of fucking villages. Um, but it's all about him, you know, you know, like getting followers for his god yeah. and trying to defeat this kingdom. So yeah, um, run run that run that clip one more time. I, I want to yeah. I want to point out point out something. So everything you said, loved it all. I feel like we skipped over a very important part. So the fact that his father was fucking crazy and he didn't even believe in his religion and he ended up dying mm-hmm. in this completely ridiculous way is one thing. Understood. But what happens next is something we need to point out. What the fuck is happening right now? This girl literally says that, hey, I thought the only way I can resuscitate you is by beating your dick. She literally just got that down beat. <laughs> She's just like, oh, that let me help you. Wild. Yeah. I don't want to like. I don't. I don't want to like. I don't want to bring that up. That shit is wild. <laughs> no, that, that shit, shit was stupid. And I really she think legit- it was important, though. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, was it important? Yeah, yeah. No, I want you to tell me. How I will tell you why it's important. So the whole premise of this society, this world without gods, is because they've been purposely depraved of all of the normal ascension like human things. Yeah, no, yeah, just the normal human things like having sex or loving people or having kids. And yeah. the reason why I think that part was so important because she didn't understand what she was doing and why it was mm-hmm. weird. They took away the whole concept of having sex. So no one understands. Like, we're, we we're going to even get into the whole Archeon thing with the, the ones who want to become gods now. Yeah. But the fact that these people are so fucked up where they think that, hey, I have to kill myself. It is my duty to the kingdom to kill myself. This whole world is fucked up. So he's reincarnated into this already fucked up world. And Mm -hmm. where he ends up, because that girl is the one who, you know, beat his dick to resuscitate him. He ends up in the village where she lives. And this village lives on the, is on the outside of the main kingdom. These are people mm-hmm. who are like the undesirables. Let's, let's call them undesirables. And undesirables. they're the ones who aren't. There's something Second weird. Classes. Yeah, yeah. There's something weird yeah. about them. And that's why they don't live in the kingdom. So they're, they're off to the side. But they still follow the same rules. They still follow mm-hmm. the same ways. They still have to give themselves up to die. Which leads up to, to that whole point where he ends up having to call out to the god. And the god shows up. Now, one thing I really do love about the show, as you um, kind of touched on with the John Deere thing this show no knew from episode one we don't got money like that and because we don't have money like that we're not going to fucking act like it we're just going to give the most bullshit animation the bullshit put together stuff we can possibly can they legitimately put a actual John Deere tractor with some real fuzzy um coloring um yeah. around it and then put it the like character's red. head on top yeah. of the person and he's just like <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. and and they keep on doing this like those there's, there's scenes where it looks like a video game like the the two bit mm. video game and that's they'll show all their action scenes in that way and i found it to be hilarious it because they knew what they were doing they knew they didn't have the money they knew they weren't about to have mm-hmm. these amazing spectacular scenes with the great hilarious. animation that you're going to put 10,000 100,000 dollars into every episode they're like hey we got what we got and you gonna get what you get i, I have work, nothing else for you work with what we <laughs> and the show was funny because of that and also because of the fucked up mentality of all mm-hmm. the people around them so i love the show because they know who they are and they get you where they know they can get you with the animation with the comedy but they also mm-hmm. play on the, on human emotions human like um, the concept of what being human is, and that's a deeper part of the show that I also appreciate as well. Honestly, I thought this show was actually pretty good. I would give it like good. an eight. 
because it was even yeah. if the animation isn't top notch, it knew what it was doing and it played yeah. on that. I'm looking but forward it, to it made up and made up for it in comedy and storytelling. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and that's the only and that's the only thing we need, really. Like if you if you understand as an anime that you're lacking in the funding department, mm-hmm. make up for it with your fucking story. I mean, I get it that these books are already written, like these this manga is written, mm-hmm. but like pick the right manga, pick the one that you know you're not going to have a good budget for. And still, but make like crazy. it's gonna be funny. Just yeah. make make it funny. Make it funny. Make it make it make some good action in it. Balance it out. The yeah, and if you want to add some bar animes, maidens with beard poured all over yeah. their tits, that's cool too. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> these these people are crazy. Well, well, I'm gonna be Sammy Segway. Speaking of uh, speaking of titties, uh, so the next one. <laughs> oh yeah, this so is the, I like this one. Yeah, so the next one we got is my one hit kill sister. Now. We had an argument about this a while ago. I'm not going to bring that argument up about why. You see that nonsense she's doing to her brother? Anyways. You can, you can um, run it back. I'm not going to I'm still it there. Uh, it's fine. Um, did you so finish this one this first? Not, I did not. I did I'm not. I actually switched it. over to Witch of Mercury. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, because I, I wanted to watch that one more. But essentially, this is about a young man who gets hit by Truck Coon. Mm. Gets hit by Truck Coon, saving a little girl's life. Or a little boy. Little girl, little boy, whatever. He saves a little, little kid's mm-hmm. life. Um, and ends up getting isekai into another world. Uh, when he gets isekai into another world, he ends up figuring out, you know, he thinks he's OP. He goes to the Adventurers Guild. He signs up to be an adventurer. He goes to see, like, what his what his skills are. He goes to see, you know, like, oh, I'm going to go fight these these monsters. Like, I'm, I'm OP as fuck. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about to I, have my he's adventure. A, he said, I'm isekai I'm OP. Of I'm course, the main character. Know? What are you talking I'm the about? the main character. <laughs> and then he realizes... He is yeah, not Parker. strong at all. You are not. And he is him. absolutely terrible. <laughs> yeah. And he ends up getting attacked by, I believe, a dragon is the first thing that attacks him. He ends up getting attacked by this dragon, realizes he's not OP. Mm. Um, he ends up realizing. So his his big sister, pervert, who has always, <laughs> who's always been there and, and protected him and has always like been around for him. Um, his big sister has always been there for him. He, in the last ditch effort, because he's afraid he's about to die, he calls for her. Um, I think her name is Mai, Mai Mm -hmm. or something like that. He's like, Mai, Mai, Mai. Like, he's screaming her name because he's, like, afraid. Well, she ends up magically being fucking isekai'd into this world, which we end up finding out it's only because she beat her head on the wall so fucking hard that she... On the hospital wall. (laughs) Yeah, on the hospital wall that she isekai'd herself into the fucking, into the world, which is amazing to me. I love it. Um... And she ends up coming into this world and fucking wiping the dragon's ass, like beating his motherfucking ass. Um, and then he realizes that I'm not the main character. I'm not OP in this world. My sister is. Um, so it's essentially about their adventures where he's essentially taking the credit for her <laughs> for her roles. He's trying to level up as an adventurer mm. while she's the one realistically beating these these villains or these bad guys. He's taking all the credit for yeah. it. And she's okay with that because she is absolutely infatuated. And she helps him she, do it. She's not she she's, she, not she's not she's not absolutely infatuated. She loves him she's, she's a lot. lot. She she's loves him a lot. She, that's what infatuated she, is. No, 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 no. Infatuated is like you you're in love with she's not in love with her brother. She's she in love with loves, her brother. She's she in love with loves her brother. her brother more than anything she's, in the world. She's in, that's infatuated. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You want to okay. run that? That's you got me. You got me. You got me. She may be infatuated with brother. Just a little. She's infatuated <laughs> with her brother. Um, she's she's super pervy. She's like funny. I wouldn't say she's like really trying to do anything, but like she she makes these little sexual remarks to him, jokes mm-hmm. just to fuck with him, um, just to fuck with him all the time. He's always falling for the shit. Um, she's like he's like oh she's like hey can you grab this for me real quick? He'll turn around and she'll put her hand on his titty and he's like ah what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And she's like ah I got you motherfucker. Um, so I'm she's sorry, super pretty. That's funny. <laughs> like nothing it's that funny. a sister or a brother should ever be doing. But it's um, anime. I mean, she. I mean, she bad. It's so, just I mean, an it, anime. It, yeah, yeah, and it cannot make you hard. Um, but pause. <laughs> but I didn't say that. Uh, I, I think this show is like it's it's okay. It's good. I don't. I remember when I first started watching it, I was like, this show's kind of ass, but. Mm-hmm. Um, cause I thought it was pretty cringy. Um, I don't know why I didn't like the fact that it was his sister. That was cause I was kind of invested in him. Like I kind of wanted to see him do his thing. Yeah. Um, so now that it was only his sister, that was, I was kind of just kind of turned off by that. Um, I was just like, eh, I mean, that's kind of a cool concept, I guess. But like, 
this isn't something I'm gonna can learn. Oh, this is isn't something I wasn't I wasn't going to continue it. I am going to, yeah. um, because I watched a few more episodes. Like I got up to only got up to like episode two the first go around. I got up to like episode six this last go around. Makes sense. And then we like we met the demon lord, um, all that stuff. And then I switched over the wi- Gundam uh, Witcher Mercury. So. Um, I probably will pick it back up. I mean, I think it's I think it's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's I think it's cool a pretty concept. it's a pretty cool anime. I'm only gonna give it probably like a six so far mm-hmm. because I haven't really seen too much about it. But I just kind of don't like the fact that he's not he doesn't have really any power. Um, I think it's kind of stupid personally. Hey, hey, let him cook. Let him cook. I know. I know. <laughs> Something's coming. But um, so I I. I do like the show. Um, I, I wouldn't give it an eight or anything like that. Probably like a six and a half, seven. Probably seven because I do enjoy funny animes. You know you're cringe, but you do it in a funny way, and and I I do appreciate that. It's not just overly. Ugh, I don't like this. Um, yeah, she this does is one have of the a, shows that's making fun of the tropes that we like. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's perfectly cool. Um, she does have a sister complex or brother complex where she's infatuated with her brother, but she she loves to fuck with him. And mm. there are times in the show where it does show that she is actually fucking with him. She doesn't actually want to fuck her brother. That's let's go ahead put it on the screen. Doesn't actually want to fuck her brother. Um, but what something we sure. do love about this show, um, well, about certain tropes, it is somewhat of a harem. So the girls you do see around him um, do end up falling for him. Most of them falling for him because they think he's like God level power. But in reality, <laughs> it's his sister who's doing all this wild all shit, work. defeating the demon lords hey. and defeating. Hey, if, he, <laughs> if he claps, if he claps, at least even I the hit. demon lord. Um, even oh, the yeah. demon. Well, she's more like, oh, I'm I'm gonna be a big sister to you, like my name is. A big sister to you but the girl the blonde girl she definitely she wants to sleep with him and the white haired girl i guess she's also right here she also wants it so it's a fairly it's a fairly decent show um it's funny where where obviously where it can be funny and he does have development he's not always lower level he actually does um complete certain situations or um overcome certain situations in his own way he becomes more inventive with um how his skills are and maybe one day he's going to be overpowered too i can definitely see that with his anime um if it come out with a season two i will watch it you know what i mean yes. our part two our finale of the yeah. show of of this little mini two-part <laughs> series we got we got a good one Mm-hmm. And and I'm and 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 hear me out. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. This show is pretty good. Now I was gonna watch it anyways. I love Gundam. We always talk about Gundam. We're always bringing it up at some point mm-hmm. somehow. Um, we're talking about Mobile Suit Gundam, the Witch, the Witch from Mercury, uh, season two. Now this is a returner. Now I'm on season one because I didn't get I didn't watch it during the the last season because obviously I'm watching other bangers and stuff like that. And I really wanted to give this show for me and Gundam. I really like to give them their due diligence and I like to just watch that show. Now I can watch this and like something else, but I meant like I need all of it to come out so I can watch all of it because I need to flow with it. That's how I am with Gundam. I don't know why, but um, I'm watching season one and and it's pretty good. Um, Well, we could sit on here for the next two hours and talk about her versus Mika. We we did that in the text message, but um, this show is essentially about a girl named Suleta or Stuleta, Suleta or whatever her name is. Um, she's from Mercury, and she ends up getting enrolled into a, a mobile suit school, or like a mobile suit, like kind of like academy or whatever it is. Um, she ends up bringing her Gundam there. Uh, her Gundam's name, like, it's like a girl name, or it's like Rosie or Marie. I forgot what her Gundam's name is, but it's a rebuild. Ariel. So it's a, a it's Ariel. 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 <laughs> Ariel. So it's a so it's essentially an AS rebuild of the Barbatos, actually, if you didn't know that. Um, but it's an AS rebuild of Barbatos which was a Gundam, and if y'all haven't watched, like, um, Mobile Suit Gundam Zero Eight or uh, Gundam, like, Iron Blood Orphans or anything like that, this is the rebuild or the after Calamity War uh, of the Barbatos style. I wouldn't say it is the Barbatos, but it's the rebuild. Now, her Gundam isn't essentially a Gundam, so far that I know of, um, but essentially she goes to this school, she's she can fight better than almost anybody in this school, people don't like that about her. Um, and so far what I, where I've gotten, she's just in this school, kind of just doing her thing. She's mm-hmm. just kind of living life in the, she's in the school thing. People challenge her to duels. She has duels. The duels are super dope. I love Gundam fights. I always love mobile suit fights. They're always the best. Um, I say this show is definitely, this to probably be one of my top favorite. Now, Iron Blood Orphans is always going to be my favorite. Yeah, I don't care what, I don't care shit. what comes out. 
I don't care what comes out, but unless they come out with another Iron Blood Orphans, but they can't because they wouldn't have the same characters because they fucking died. Um, but this is probably going to be my top, one of my top, um, you know, Gundam shows. The animation is great. Obviously, it came out 2023. Animation's fantastic. The fighting's good. I think the storyline is so far pretty simple and pretty easy to pass. There's not much of a storyline where I'm at, of course. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, you know, they come, they've come. they came out with a lot of kind of bad Gundam shows. Uh, I forgot what the last movie they came out. It was like a two-parter, like a 50-minute two-parter mm. uh, Gund- Gundam that they came out with. I forgot what that damn show was called. Um, but they came out with like a 50 minute two parter like a year and a half ago, and that shit was absolute dog water. Like it was it was hot dog water. It was terrible. So um, I'm glad that they're coming out with a good Gundam, like a decent Gundam, uh, because I love my Gundam. I, mm-hmm. I love it. You know. So um, I haven't watched season two yet. I'll get there. I'm currently watching the first season right now. Yeah. But I think it's good. I think it's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So. First off, I want to start with this is my first Gundam I watched when it came out. So we should probably start there. Why I'm probably more leaning towards this one. I would definitely say that Iron Blood Orphans is a better show than this. I definitely enjoy it because it hit the feels at the mm-hmm. right time. This one didn't really hit emotional feels, but it was still a really good story. Now, to first talk um, season one, this is the main character right here. We kind of don't know what's going on with her. She's yeah. gone to this new school. She She's very adamant upon completing this list of things that she has to knock out at her new school, but it's like, why are you so adamant upon this? She's also weird because apparently she's from she's from a different planet, like a planet with um Mercury. So they're like, oh, we don't we don't really like you. The whole thing is you got the people who live out in space, and then you have space people who rats. live on Earth. <laughs> so space those are like the two rats. main divisions of of this um this world. Um, yeah. But continuing to move forward, she she's going to the school, and the school is a Gundam school where essentially they fight each other it's for a, rankings. A mobile suit school. Gundams are banned. Oh, okay. It's a mobile suit school. That's a good catch. Yeah. In this world, Gundams are also banned. It was like the prologue really like drove that home. Gundams you, are banned because they it's like yeah. human experience um, experiments. They're hurting humans. They are the cause of a lot of death, both from people who use the Gundams and the Gundams on people um, being used yes. against. So, that's since this thing. is your first, since this is your first Gundam to to kind of like put everything into perspective anything after the calamity war Mm -hmm. gundams are banned no matter what what show what universe gundams are banned um the only one that it wasn't was iron blood orphans because these kids uh it was like in the transitional period these kids got them and they were their own company Mm -hmm. and they were their own brand but everywhere else like per the government for the police force for the military Gundams are always going to be banned after the Calamity War because of the destruction and the chaos and death that they caused during the war. Yeah, no, no, and because of the yeah. So, so um, yeah, that's essentially this world. So she goes to the school and they fight Gundam, um, fight their um, mobile suits essentially against each other to rank up, and they have this whole ranking war. Well, the grand prize is to marry the president's daughter, that's, in that's which so she shows up on day one and beats the head guy, and ends up um, becoming the fi- fiance. Yeah, he slaps of, the fuck out of her. <laughs> become the fiance of the president's daughter. Well, that doesn't. Um, that kind of pl- continues to play out where we kind of see that she may be in love with the daughter, but it's it's still convoluted. Um, in season not there one. yet. Yeah, we're yeah. not there yet. Now, season um, the end of season one, uh, an event happens where the the president's daughter kind of looks at her in a different way, like, "Why are you the way that you are?" So moving into season two, we kind of we kind of started where they're they're a bit separated. Where the, what happened at the end of season one kind of has their relationship a bit strained. Where the president's daughter now kind of wants to separate herself. So season two is really uh, mainly about her separating herself from her because she wants to, her to save her from the life that she's currently or the path that she's currently on, path of killing people, kind of brainlessly doing whatever her her mother tells her to do. Where season two then leads to is finding out what 
her past, understanding why she is the way that she is, and also truly understanding what her mother's overall grand scheme is, yeah. where it all culminates into a final battle, in which we finally yeah. get to see I'm, Ariel's full potential, and it's I'm, it's the I'm shit. Only, I'm only on season one, and I could I already knew that her mom was fucking evil. I mean, yeah, you can. You I can knew that. Tell. I knew that when <laughs> when she when she showed up. And she was like, "Oh, my mom built this thing." And then the mom had the whole meeting with the with the council members, mm-hmm. and then they were like, "She was like, oh, I built this." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, so that's her mom. That makes sense." Mm-hmm. And then she like had the whole mask on, and then she kind of just gave a vibe. And then I mean, while the she mask was talking, was a bad giveaway. While she was talking to her daughter, and the way she was talking to her, I'm like, "Ah, oh, you're just a tool. I'm sorry." Baby yeah, girl. she was super condescending to yeah, her daughter. Yeah, you're you're a tool. I'm sorry. <laughs> Most children are. It's but okay. I think it's a um, really good story. Um, if you do follow any of the, the Gundam series, I'm sure you already know that it's it's super political, super big into um, government. Hu- government wars, different yeah. factions all warring to essentially um, gain control over everything. And this show dev- definitely doesn't disappoint. I am happy yeah. that this was my first Gundam show for me. I'm yeah. in life. So. Well, that's good because I need to. I, I'm I'm gonna continue watching this. I think we definitely ended this part two on a great anime. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Gundam has been around forever and it will continue to come out. Um, I need them to uh, resurrect Mika and Orga, and I need them to come out with Iron Blood Orphan season three. Mm. Um, no, but um, I think the way it ended was the way it was supposed to, and it yeah. tugged on us, but. Uh, I'm really looking forward to season to season two for Witcher Mercury. I will get there pretty soon. Obviously, I'm trying to catch up. I got uh, eight days to catch up on One Piece. Um, which, <laughs> you um, got it. Because I literally, if I don't catch up, which it won't happen, but I will be ruined. Like I can't go on social media, or I'm gonna see clips of everything. Hell, when Zoro was fighting damn the King of Hell, I fucking got that shit ruined for me <laughs> in day one. Um, but anyways. We wrapped up season two. We appreciate everybody. We will be coming out with our Otaku Showdown next. So our Otaku Showdown, like you guys know, or maybe some of you new viewers who haven't been here, our Otaku Showdown is we pull the main characters from each show with their abilities, their powers, uh, their mobile suits, anything that they can use at their disposal in their universe. We put them all together in a bracketed system, all out fight. And we choose the winner at the end of that. Um, Based off our opinions, of course. It's all everything is an opinion these days. Um, but, but you we, can drop who you think the main character from this season's um, anime. You can drop a yeah. main character that you think should win the actual Absolutely. octagon. Winning. So we're gonna be doing our otaku showdown next. Uh, we'll find out who who the who the champion of spring twenty twenty three will be, and then shortly after that we will be doing our our summer uh, hotter drop. Uh, we we've started off this season pretty strong. Like mm-hmm. I've watched Bleach, I've watched Undead, uh, uh, the Undead one. I've watched a bunch of other ones. But we appreciate everybody again. Like, subscribe, go watch part one. If for some reason you just watched all of part two for some, I don't go, know why. Go, um, go watch part one. We had some bangers in that one. I love you guys. Let's get these numbers up. Let's pump, pump, pump it up. Peace. Joe Button. Peace out. We addicted to fast cars, bad bras, late nights, last calls, alcohol, bad bitches scrolling through the phone log, hit them up, all my niggas pick them up, we bout to have a time tonight, show you keep-